Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Trader Joe's haul, which is no surprise based on the title. Um, this haul is really a good one. I love all the stuff that I picked out this week and there's a lot of fun new stuff. There is some Valentine's stuff, so you guys can start getting your shopping done early for Valentine's Day if you celebrate that holiday. Um, but there is one thing I did want to address quickly. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments regarding whether I'm sponsored by Trader Joe's and I just want to clear the air. I am 100% not sponsored by Trader Joe's. I have no, I'm not getting paid by them to show you guys these hauls. Um, they don't pay for my groceries. I really wish they would, um, but they don't. The only affiliation I have with Trader Joe's is that I am a crew member there, I work there, and so I just know the products really well, and I stand by Trader Joe's because I love their products, and uh, yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to make sure that you guys all know that um, this is all my own opinions. These are all things that I'm buying with my own money. Now that we got that out of the way, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do Trader Joe's hauls once a week. I'm starting to do more Costco hauls because I'm shopping at Costco a lot and um, trying to throw in some videos here and there about food and cooking and stuff like that. So I would love to have you guys join and don't want you to miss a thing. I'm always showing all the newest and seasonal stuff that Trader Joe's has to offer weekly. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out everything I purchased this week at Trader Joe's. Well, here we are again, and I'm gonna start with the carbs. Yes, I eat carbs. Yes, I like white bread. I know I'm terrible, but it is what it is. So these are my groceries, not yours. You guys don't have to go home with them, but I'm gonna tell you they are delicious. The sourdough bread, one of my favorite breads ever in the entire universe. Same with the Middle Eastern style flatbread and of course the everything ciabatta rolls. So these are basically my bread staples in the house. And then moving on to yet another carbo loaded snack. I love me my ghost pepper potato chips and the olive oil potato chips are pretty much the only chips I buy weekly because Tim loves these and I love those. So that's why you guys see these in my hauls so often because they're so delicious. Moving on, I grabbed a bag of the butter lettuce and radicchio. I haven't had this in a very long time and I just felt like butter lettuce sounded really good for sandwiches, for salads, for pretty much anything you need lettuce for. Um, and this is the organic one. We do sell at Trader Joe's the butter lettuce, just plain, but it's conventional and not organic. So I bought it because I wanted the organic part of that. Um, I also grabbed some more Persian cucumbers. I love these in hummus. It's been my favorite snack. In fact, I've been having cucumbers and hummus for lunch quite often now because it is so good and I can eat like six cucumbers, no problem there. Moving on to some frozen things. So I got some more potato pancakes, AKA Lodkas. Tradition, yeah, I mean it says it here. Eight traditional Lodkas. These are phenomenal. If you guys have an air fryer, highly recommend air frying these babies because they turn out to be the most perfect Lodka and they're so easy and delicious. And I also wanted to show you an alternative to these guys. So there's also the cauliflower pancakes. There's six in these. Um, these are year round now. They used to be seasonal. So um, I just wanna show you guys another option. These are also really easy to cook up in the air fryer as well. More potatoes, some tater tots. These are for my son. He likes tater tots sometimes. Um, sometimes I make breakfast for dinner and I'll like, I'll uh, air fry these as well, and they're just, uh, they last forever in the freezer, so it's nice to have some frozen tots at all times in the freezer for my three-year-old. I also grabbed some more mashed cauliflower. I haven't bought this in a little bit, and I saw it, and I was like, you know what, that sounds really good. So I grabbed that, and then I got some veggie gyoza. These Thai vegetable gyozas are so good. And if you guys have the sweet chili sauce that Trader Joe's sells, that goes really well with it. Or just the traditional soy sauce or coconut aminos. I love Trader Joe's coconut aminos, but Costco sells a huge one. So you can always go there and 
you know, if you have a Costco card. Moving on, I had to get the garlic spread. I love this spread. It is so good, and trust me when I say anyone that tries this becomes heavily addicted. It's, it's like the most amazing flavorful spread. I put this on sandwiches. You can even use it as a dip, as it states. Um, it's vegan. There's very little ingredients in here, and it's just an amazing spread to have for everything. It's great. Grabbed some more Parmesan cheese because we're getting low on that. Got the Mediterranean style hummus for all of us. We all eat this and like I said, cucumbers, hummus, yum. I got the egg white salad with chives. I decided I'm gonna be making some egg salad sandwiches with the ciabatta rolls. And I'm gonna add avocado because I love adding avocado to this egg salad. Um, because it's just egg whites, it needs like something, like some more fat to it. So avocado is amazing in this. You can always add like cilantro. I love arugula, but unfortunately at my store, there's a one case max on arugula right now and it has been coming in really terrible, so we aren't even putting it on the shelf. So I didn't get to get my favorite arugula. I just got the butter lettuce, which I can still add to this to make a really delicious sandwich. Um, also got some balella. This is an amazing little salad made with chickpeas, black beans, there's onions, tomatoes, um, what else is there? Mint, I think. It's just amazing. I love this salad. It's so, so good. And you can just eat it straight out of the container. And it's very satisfying. I grabbed another Health Aid kombucha in the Tropical Punch, the newest flavor that Trader Joe's has rolled out. And I am loving this, and so is Tim. So we've been drinking these twice as fast because now Tim's hooked on them too. Um, and then last week, in my last week's haul, I showed you guys the seltzer water that was the lemon ginger. This is my favorite flavor, the blood orange and orange juice. It's so good. Um, and again, there are no natural flavorings in this one. So if you guys are concerned about that, here's the back to show you guys exactly what's in here. But yeah, no natural flavors. Moving on, I got Tim a couple pepperoni stuff to try. He's had these before. Um, and it's great because I'll just buy the four pack of cheese pizzas from Costco and then Tim can add pepperonis where he wants to. And then I also grabbed this. This, I don't think this is year round, but it's weird to have it right now. But this is the uncured three pepper salami. It's seasoned with pequeen, ancho, and green chili peppers. There's no nitrites or nitrates added. Um, except for those that are naturally occurring in celery juice and sea salt. So you guys can see, um, this is probably one of the better quality salamis that Trader Joe's sells because it's uncured. It says, um, no antibiotics, all vegetarian feed, no added hormones, made with all natural pork, minimally processed, yada, yada, yada. But I got these two for Tim so that he can have like little snacks when he wants to um, or put them on pizzas or whatever he wants to do with them. I don't know. That's his deal. He can do it. <laughs> I also got some celery. Um, I am trying to have really easy go-to snacks in the fridge. So I'm going to cut these in half, obviously wash them, clean them up, and then have them just in a Tupperware. And when I'm having a hankering for a crunchy snack, instead of going for those, I'm gonna go for these. So that's why I got those. And then I obviously have to get my tomatoes every week. I love tomatoes. Um, I use them on everything. So it's just one of my weekly things I always buy. I also grabbed some more avocados, been eating lots of avocado toast and just add, adding avocado to my meals because I'm trying to cut out dairy as much as possible and avocado is a really good um, supplement to cheese. So that's why I'm using that. Then I also grabbed some tricolor bell peppers. This comes with the red, yellow, and orange. And I've been making some really yummy meals from HelloFresh and I decided that I'm gonna try to recreate them. And so I got some ingredients to try to recreate some of the recipes I've been making because I'm like so hooked and I love the recipes that they send over. So thank you, HelloFresh. Um, I also grabbed the organic mini medley of potatoes. So there's a bunch of different colors in here. There's the like dark purple, the red, the yellow, and I think that's it. I think there's just three types, but I'm probably gonna make something yummy with that as well. 
picked up some peanut butter cups because they are my weakness in the checkout. So grabbed those. We finally got in the Peony Blossom Scented Candle once again. This is a seasonal candle, so if you guys do like this scent, I recommend stocking up so you can have it year round because it's only gonna be uh, at Trader Joe's probably just during the springtime. So keep that in mind if you really like this scent. It smells really nice. It is definitely one of the more scented candles that Trader Joe's offers. Um, it has a very like fragrant floral scent. So for me, it's almost too much, but I do enjoy burning it and it's um, nice to have in the house when you have guests over and stuff. So I grab that. The beer bread mix is back. I'm so excited about this. I actually shot a video showing you guys how this turns out and it was so phenomenal. All you need is 12 ounces of beer, half a stick of butter, and a quarter cup of shredded cheese. And that's optional and I highly recommend adding the shredded cheese. It makes it. So um, this is so perfect for Super Bowl though. This is, I think I got two last year. I made one for Super Bowl and it was devoured. Everybody loved it. Um, so grab it while it's here and once again since it's seasonal it's only here for a limited time and then it's gone until next year so if you do enjoy this stock up you can always call your local trader joe's have them order you a case if you're that gun ho about it but otherwise you can you know grab two or three whatever you want um now to the new stuff there is a lot of fun new stuff this week so let's kick it off with the brand new almond flour chocolate chip cookie baking mix. And the most exciting thing about this mix is that it is vegan, well it can be, you can make it vegan, you can make it not vegan depending on the butter you use, because I believe it's the butter that you can use. So you can either use oil or butter, you can use milk or non-dairy anything that is non-dairy. Um, so that's very exciting that it's a versatile recipe and everyone can enjoy it. It's also gluten free because of the almond flour. Um, I actually had the opportunity to try these at work. My, the guy that works in demo, he made them for the crew and we were all able to try them. And let me just tell you, he didn't make them vegan. Um, he, he used butter, but they turn out so darn amazing. I was shocked. I was shocked because this box feels pretty light. So, um, it was really good. So here's the ingredients, as you guys can see, almond flour, coconut sugar, blah, blah, blah. Really clean ingredients, you can read everything. Um, very encouraging for those that are really interested in having something sweet, but also something that, you know, is not terrible for us. So obviously, it's a sweet, it's not gonna be healthy, but it definitely is better than a lot of ingredients in cookie mixes. And then as you guys can see, one cookie prepared is 140 calories, 10 grams of fat, 95 milligrams of sodium, 12 grams of carbs, four, one gram of fiber, six grams of sugar, and two grams of protein. So I did wanna mention this is not gonna be tried in the taste test since I did try it. I don't wanna make bake all these cookies um, when it's not the time right now, but um, I will vouch for them. They were very delicious and I couldn't really tell that it was made with almond flour. Moving on to the Belgian chocolate hearts. We had these last year as well. Um, they were delicious. These Belgian chocolates are such good quality. So as you guys can see in the photo, it looks like it's kind of multicolored. And in fact, these hearts do have different like two-tone white chocolatey brown, almost red color to them. So they're really pretty. Um, and they're perfect for like a little, I don't know, Valentine's Day gift. And then going along with the same Valentine's Day theme, we've got this brand new cache of milk dark and white chocolate assortment. These are unique Belgian chocolates and they actually have all the chocolates listed on here. But I will show you guys a very full look of this in the taste test so you can really see what it looks like. I'm gonna open it up, we're gonna try some chocolates. Um, I did get to try one of them at work and it was delicious. So I can't wait to try a couple more flavors and have Tim and Benson try them and see what they think. But this is such a pretty box. It's like a mature Valentine's Day box. Instead of you know the old fashioned red perfect shaped heart, this has like a little bit of a 2020 vibe to it. Here we have the organic Small lot coffee from Mexico. This is light roast. It has notes of caramel, dark chocolate, and dried fruit. I'm so excited to try this. Now, 
I've mentioned this in the past, but Trader Joe's sells these small lot bags of coffee, and then once they're gone, they're gone. You won't see them again, but it does give the opportunity to try a ton of different types of coffee from all different areas around the world and kind of give you an idea of what you like. And I've heard that this one is phenomenal, so I can't wait to grind this up and try it in my morning cup of coffee. It's going to be a good one, I'm hoping. I always get excited when Trader Joe's brings out a new body care item because I love trying new body care and this one is very interesting to me. This is the shower and bath cleansing oil with almond oil and it says when it gets wet that it turns into a sheer milky hydrating wash that cleanses the skin while helping maintain moisture. Um, and it has a delightful almond scent. So I actually did smell this, and one takeaway after smelling this is it smelled a lot like an almond oil from Loacetin, or I'm probably totally butchering the name, but it's like a more high-end brand, and I had a little sample of almond oil that wasn't for the shower, but it smelled amazing. I'm just really happy that this smells similar, and it's, very exciting because it's dry right now and every time I shower I need to lotion my shoulders because they're getting so dry from just washing. This is something that I think most of you guys are going to be so excited about. It's just my guess. These are the new Savory Banana and Nuts Trek Mix. It's made with lightly seasoned green bananas, cashews, and pecans. And the reason why I think you guys are going to love this is because look at the ingredients. Look at that. Nothing bad in there, even there's even olive oil, which I know you guys are all so interested in the oils these days. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. And then here's the nutrition facts. So four servings per container, 150 calories per serving, 11 grams of fat, 210 milligrams of sodium, 13 grams of carbs, less than a gram of sugar, and two grams of protein. So very exciting. I kind of wish they made a bigger package, but I guess we'll find out if it's any good in the taste test before I say that. <laughs> but it looks like it will be good. There's a new saute kit in town. This is the miso vegetables and brown rice. It has brown rice, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, red cabbage, kale, carrots, and snow peas with a miso sauce. Um, I was noticing in the back here, you can see the dressing, but I actually saw a pouch of the noodles. So everything is separated, which I know makes more plastic, but it keeps everything from going bad and also um, getting things like mushy and all wet. So that's why they do that. But um, we're trying this in the taste test, so you, you guys will find out if it's any good or if we like it at least. Looks delicious though. And then the last new thing that came in is the Coconut Crispy Rolls Wafer Cookies. Um, it says they're rolled thin coconut wafer cookies from traditional Thai recipe made with coconut milk. I was so excited to see these because I'm like, ooh, it's coconut milk. They're going to be vegan. Um, No, they're not vegan. They're not gluten-free. They literally have coconut milk, sugar, tapioca starch, eggs, black sesame seeds, and sea salt. But it does contain traces of milk and almond. So just to let you guys know if you're... Curious, and here are the nutrition facts on the back. Two and a half servings per container, and each serving is 160 calories, eight grams of total fats, 85 milligrams of sodium, 20 grams of carbs, eight grams of sugar, and less than a gram of protein. So there you go. We're gonna try these too. So we got a lot of stuff to taste test this week. Um, but yeah, here is the Trader Joe's haul. Woohoo! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, comment down below what new items you're excited about. If you guys wanna see the taste test, please look forward to the next video. I always post the taste test on the same day that I post the Trader Joe's haul. That way it's easy to see if things that came in were tasty, not tasty. Of course, this is just our opinions, myself and my husband, and my three-year-old Benson who joins occasionally. I think he's gonna be in this week's taste test too. So make sure you check out that video if you're interested in the new items. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Give me my videos thumbs up, subscribing. I really appreciate you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.